Hello guys, welcome to Ask ITN. My name is Gaurav Yadav. Right? I hope you all are doing well. So today we will discuss about very most important topic of your NAS standard that is circle. Guys, this topic circle, circle will be your long lasting topic that it will become your in your 9th or uh, 10th or so will come for your 11th also and this chapter right this chapter will come for your competition exams also right so this chapter is very much important for you as you carry respect right just let me share my screen okay. right perfect so we'll study about circle. For your class nine, circles will be uh, have weightage for your three to six marks. Your three to six marks question will be asked in your ninth. Uh, okay. So topics we'll cover today will be topics to be covered today. We'll cover topic circles and its related terms, perimeter of an arc area and perimeter of circle will try to do some basic basic questions for your circle right so let us just now understand how, what circle is and how circle is formed right and its properties so in our daily uh, life we came out to be uh, we see many many uh, shapes which are in the form of circle right right the like your wheel your wheel of your bicycle is in the form of a circle the clock generally clock is in the form of a circle right so <coughs> slice of orange we eat right in the form of, uh, of circle right also your pizza your pizza you eat that uh, right your pizza you eat uh, which came into your slices and each slice uh, is called as uh, your quadrants right your pizza you eat now uh, frequently yeah. Then your cookie, then your dartboard you, while playing, it is in the form of a circle, bangle, right? So all these are forms of a circle that we see in our daily routine life, okay? So yeah, we'll move uh, further. We'll now discuss what circle is and what is the proper definition of a circle, okay? A circle is the locus of a point which moves such that its distance from a fixed point is always constant. What this line suggests is that it is a locus of a moving point. Suppose a point is there which is moving. Suppose that B point is moving. B point is moving point. Then it is a path traced out or the locus of a point which moves such that its distance from a fixed point. Your fixed point is your center and your fixed distance is your uh, radius, okay? Let me draw. Basically, a circle is the locus, locus or can say path traced out by a moving point. Suppose any moving point is there, B is there, path traced out by a moving point from a fixed point. Your fixed point is known as, your fixed point is known as center. And at a fixed distance, fixed distance is known as your radius, right? And the path traced out is known as, uh, suppose the center is low, your path traced out is known as circumference or can say perimeter of a circle, right? Circumference of a circle, okay? The fixed point is called center and the fixed distance is called radius. If we discuss what circle is in very simple terms, like how to define a circle, just take a line, just take a line and fix it at one point and just revolve your line, revolve your line, I'm oh, sorry. Just revolve uh, your line, you will get a circle, right? Take a fix, take a fix, take a fixed line, a line, fix it at a center and just Revolve it, okay? Revolve it, you will get a circle, okay? This is your 
radius. Your fixed point is known as your center. Also, we can describe a uh, circle. What circle is like? Uh, any enclosed figure, any enclosed shape, equal distance from a fixed point. Any enclosed curve or enclosed shape, equal distance from a fixed point. These all distance are same. Then a circle will be formed. I'm writing equidistant. Equidistance means having same distance from same point. You will, then a circle will be formed. Also, right? So I will tell you a real life example, right? You yeah, suppose that in a field. In a field, if you tie a horse with the help of a rope at a uh, at some point, right? Suppose this point is there, and you have uh, you have you have your horse, right? You have your horse, and you have tied this with the help of rope. Then horse will graze the field in the form of a circle. Then your horse will uh, will be treated as like a moving point, right? Because your horse is moving. And from a fixed point, because you have tied this uh, by the help of rope, and your rope will consider as a radius. Okay, I think the point is clear, like how circle is formed, and what will be the proper definition of a circle, right? Also, we know the real life examples of a circle, right? We'll now discuss some more terminology of a circle, right? Your spelling is wrong here. Center E R. Okay. Okay, so terms related to circle, yeah, terms related to circle. We'll discuss one by one. Okay, chord. What is a chord? A chord is a line segment whose endpoints line on the circle. Let me tell you something. Right, if a line is there, and suppose this A and B is your line, and if I write your P and Q. Your P and Q is a line segment. Line segment. Line segment means. Line segment means it will not be extended to uh, further ends, right? But a line can be extended to from any ends. This line can be extended to any end. But a line segment is fixed. It cannot be extended, right? So what is a chord? A chord is a line segment whose end points lie in a circle. So basically, a circle is there. Then this is a chord. Why? Because a line segment. It is a line segment whose end points lie on the circumference or lies on the circle. Right? These all are chords. These all are chords. Right? I think the point is clear. Then radius. What is? Uh, then radius. Right? Radius is denoted by R. Generally, a small r, a line segment connecting the center of a circle at any point on the circle itself. Uh, so basically, in a circle, a radius. Yeah, okay. I will write this. This is these all are chord. Okay. What is a uh, a circle? Oh, sorry, a radius. A radius is a line segment connecting the center. Of a circle to any point on the circle, just connecting your center to any point on the circle, then these all will be your radius. Okay, I think the point is clear. Then diameter. So a diameter is a line segment. Diameter is a line segment having both the end points on the circle, and it is the largest cos of okay. So basically. A, a diameter is a chord. Basically, a diameter is a chord which passes through center. Any chord which passes through center, you know, chord, chord having its chord is a uh, chord is a line segment which have end points on its circle. So, any chord, any chord which passes through uh, center is known as diameter. And we can also say that your diameter is your longest chord, or longest chord. 
your diamet uh, diameter is your longest chord, right? So obviously, like it is uh, from this point to your A point is your R, and suppose this AB is your diameter, then OB is also R. So your diameter is equal to two times of R, two times of radius. Remember this: your diameter is two times of radius. Circumference. Your circumference is uh, the perimeter of the length of the boundary of the circle is called circumference. Circumference is just basically uh, like in this diagram. So circumference is basically your perimeter. Like if you uh, want to move from this point to again to uh, this point by revolving, right? Your circumference will be formed, and your circumference is equal to your two pi r, right? A second. Let me just move on this right. Then we are discussing a second. A second in a circle. If a line passes through, if a line passes through. Like in a circle, and if we discuss our relationship between a circle and a line, then there can be three conditions. Then there can be three conditions. If a line passes through the circle, and if a line does not pass through the circle, and if a line just touches the circle at a single point, right? Then this is known as tangent. A uh, uh, the line touching a circle at a single point, a single Point. Suppose that point is P. This is radius O. Then your P point is known as point of contact or point of tangency. Right? If this line does not intersect the circle, then this is nothing. This these have no relation. Why? Because these are two independent bodies. Right? These are two independent bodies. What if a line uh, intersect the circle at two distinct points? Suppose A and B. Then this is known as second. Then this is known as second. A straight line cutting the circle at two points. It is called extend. It is also called as yeah, extended chord, right? I think the points are clear to you all. So now our next. Uh, let me just. Uh, Summarize like whole point like we have discussed till now, right? If suppose a circle is there, right, and a fixed point is there, suppose that O, your O point and to your circumference, your O point and to your circumference, then this is known as your radius, right? If a line segment uh, lie within a circle, or its endpoints lie within a circle, then this is known as chord, right? If any chord passes through the center, if any point passes through the center, then it is known as diameter, right? If any line just passes through. Or just intersect the uh, circle at two distinct points, then it is known as second, right? If any line just uh, touches the circle, then it is known as tangent. We'll now move forward and uh, like we'll discuss some more terminology of a circle, right? Okay, so a basic uh, first is arc. What is arc? It is basically the connected curve of a circle, or can say Your arc is like if it is a, like if a circle is there, right? If a circle is there, then any part of your circle, then any part of circle. Suppose we are talking about this part, then any part of your circle is just an arc. This is an arc. Suppose A and B. So then AB will be your arc, and denoted by this sign, arc, right? A sector. A sector is a region bounded by two radii and an arc. Two radii in an arc. Suppose in this same diagram, this A O point is there. If this arc is uh, arc is the region bounded by two radii in an arc, right? O A B. Your O A B is known as sector. Okay. 
So what is uh, next is segment? What is segment? A region bounded by a chord and an arc line between them. Okay. So basically, your segment is an area bounded by a chord. If this region. then this uh, a chord will divide obviously the chord will divide the circle in two parts one will be the major and one will be the minor if these all are equal then your chord is your diameter only in one case if it is a diameter then it will uh, divide both one into these both are semi circle right both just half of circle right If uh, a chord divides the circle in two parts, uh, then uh, the minor will be, or the lesser one will be the minor segment, and the greater one, your greater one will be your major one, right? Major segment. Okay. So now is analysis. Unless is the region bounded by two concentric circles, right? Concentric circles is the circles which have same uh, center, right? If a circle is there, and with the same center and different radius, suppose a circle, a bigger circle is there, then the path in between them is known as unless, right? Like uh, you have seen a ring, if a, it is in the shape of a ring, and the path uh, in between two circles, right, is known as unless. Okay. So I think these all points are clear. Just, uh, just let me uh, summarize all these points we are we are discussing, right? So yeah, if in a circle, right? If a circle is there, right? If an arc, if an arc is there, if you suppose this is an arc, your your arc is there. This any part of a circle is your arc, right? If a center open, if it is connected by your two radii, then it is known as then it is known as your sector. Right? If any chord is there, then your chord will chord and your circumference, right, or a region divided by chord uh, will be your is known as segment. and one will be the major segment and one will be your minor segment i think my point is clear to you what is segment what is sector what is arc okay so we'll move forward and we'll move next like what is the perimeter of an arc okay perimeter of an arc let me tell you one thing before uh, discussing perimeter of an arc you if your circle is there then perimeter of with center o and radius r your perimeter of circle the perimeter of circle or can say circumference or can say circumference of your circle is equal to 2 pi r okay now we are discussing a perimeter of an arc right an arc is a part of circumference of a circle if the length is 0 it will merely a point on the boundary of a circle and if the length uh, if it is a length it will be the circumference of the circle r r okay the point uh, to be noted is that if any part of a circle any part of a circle then it is an r so put this point a and b on the circumference any part on the circumference or a part of a circle is known as your r so you need to find out the value of ab ab means an r right suppose this ab will extend and is uh, an angle on your uh, center suppose this angle is your theta okay so our point is to find out the length of an ab or length of an arc suppose that you uh, just remind you like while making an angle of 360 if your theta is your 360 then your angle then you sorry then your circumference or the perimeter will be your 2 pi r what i'm talking about if your angle if you are uh, the angle subtended by your arc is your 360 your 360 means your whole circle then your perimeter will be 2 pi r clear or not if i take out uh, any length of an ab suppose this angle is made out by 360 then it means 
the uh, parameter will be 2 by r here right if what if your angle is made only theta if what if your angle is made only theta then your length will be theta into multiply uh, sorry 2 by r multiply theta upon 360 Both are degree, right? So basically, your length of an arc, your length of an arc is equal to two pi r theta upon three sixty degree. I think, guys, this point is clear. Like when. Uh, the whole angle is 360 right you will get the value of 2 pi r which is the perimeter of the circumference then what will be the length if the angle made out by the arc is theta degree okay so it will be 2 pi r multiplied theta upon 360 just remind uh, always uh, remind this right okay so question is there a good question is there the length of an arc find calculate the length of an arc If the radius of an arc is eight centimeter and the center angle is okay, so the question is asking like a circle is there for you, circle is there for you of eight centimeter radius. Suppose this radius is eight centimeter. This radius is eight centimeter, right? And it is telling that uh, find the length of an arc if the uh, angle subtended to your uh, center O. Is your forty degree? You are given your forty degree angle. Just find out the length of an arc. This length. Suppose this length is AB. So you need to find out the value of AB. You know what will be the length of an arc? Your AB will be equal to you know the formula two pi r theta upon three sixty. Degree, it is clear or not? Then two pi. What is r? R is just eight. What is theta? Theta is your forty degree. Okay, forty degree upon three sixty. Clear? Forty will cut out three sixty by nine times, right? So it will be sixty pi by nine. Your AB length will be. Your AB length will be sixteen pi by nine. Okay, so sixteen pi by nine is just calculate or uh, put the value of pi is three point one four or twenty two by seven. Value of pi, I think you all know. Value of pi three point one four or twenty two seven. Then your sixteen pi by nine. Then your length sixteen pi by nine. Will be equal to your five point five eight two centimeter. I think the point is clear. You know the formula of length of an arc. Length of an arc is equal to two by r multiplied theta upon three sixty. Okay, sir. So now we we'll move forward. Uh, we'll discuss now area and perimeter of a circle. Uh, perimeter of a sector. Let me remind you one more thing. Again, the same thing. Like uh, a circle is there. If your center is O, so suppose a sector is there. A sector is formed by two radii, and you are the same arc. Let us say A and B, and it subtends. Suppose that angle theta degree. Okay. So the point is, uh, what is the area of a circle? Area of a circle is your pi r square. And when is this pi r square is there? If your angle, if your all uh, angle will be your three sixty degree. If your area of sector, uh, sorry, if your uh, angle subtended by your sector at the center will be this key, then area will be your pi r square area of full circle. So our question is, what will be the area when we find out that our uh, angle is theta degree? Just the same way we have done for the length of an arc, just multiplied pi r square multiplied theta upon Three sixty degree. I think, guys, this question is very much clear to you. 
pi r square theta upon 360 is your area of sector pi r square theta upon 360 is your area of sector okay if theta is in your uh, degree right with where theta is in degree here can be simplified pi by 2 into pi by square when if you take angles in your radian right so i think this point is very much clear to you right this will be uh, more easy to uh, solve for area of sector if your theta is in degree just write pi r square theta upon 360 it is just the same way we have discussed and we have done for our length of an arc right okay so perimeter of sector right perimeter of sector we have discussed the length of an arc what will be the perimeter of sector right if you know the sector is sector is formed by two radii so this point is o two radius upon all radius are equal you know that and your length of an arc what will be the perimeter of a uh, uh, sector perimeter of a sector like if you point is this a and b okay just tell me what is perimeter perimeter is just move from one point to uh, and just wall uh, the whole diagram right if you are talking about your aob aob is your sector just start from your point a Just start from your point A and just uh, move uh, through through all the sector, right? You will move from point A to point A O. Then uh, you will move your distance your R, right? Then from O point to B point, you will move another your R distance, right? Then from B point to A point, just move to the entire surface. You will get the perimeter of anything, right? If you're talking about a perimeter of a suppose uh, a square, then what is the perimeter? So if you're talking about the perimeter of a square, right? What is the perimeter of a square? You all know if the your side is A. I'm I'm moving from this point. Uh, wait, guys. Yeah. Uh, so for perimeter, just move from one point to uh, to the entire. To the entire figure, right? If we uh, your uh, perimeter of a square is four a, just move from this point, uh, the a, the a, the a, then comes a. Just you you will be to the same position four a, right? We we were discussing about sector. From eight point to O point R will be moved. O point to B point again R. Then from B point to A point it is your length of an arc. Then it is your length of an arc. And what is length of an arc? Your two R plus length of an arc is your two pi R theta divided by three sixty. But theta is in uh, degree, right? So it is basically your perimeter of sector i think the point is clear to you all i think the point is very much clear perimeter of a circle okay so the formula perimeter of circle is given below perimeter yeah right i think the point is clear what will be the perimeter as we know the length of an arc so it will be very much easy to find out to calculate the perimeter of a sector right okay we'll now do a question just read out the question what the question is saying right question is saying like a a circular arc whose radius is 12 cm makes an angle of 30 degree at the center find the perimeter of this perform use pi is equal to 3.14 just Try to calculate the perimeter of a circle. Right, a circle is given to you. You know the radius. You you know the radius. Radius is your twelve. Radius is your twelve. Right. 
to center is point O, suppose right, and suppose that length of an arc will be your AB. This your AOB is your sector, right? So the question is asking, what will be the perimeter of the sector form? What will be the perimeter of your AOB sector, right? Let me write. Peri meter of sector. Meanwhile, time just try to calculate, right? While I'm writing perimeter of sector A O B. Then perimeter of sector will be equal to two times of radius plus length of arc AB. I think the point is clear, right? You know the value of radius two times of R. What is R? R is your 12. Plus, what will be the length of arc AB? Just try to uh, solve what will be the length of AB. Your angle is your 30 degree, okay? Your angle is your 30 degree given. I know the length of AB will be equal to 2 pi r theta above 360 right just put the value of theta theta is your 30 degree right so it will become 2 pi r theta is your 30 degree 30 pi 360 30 by 360 and what uh, 2 pi what is r r is your or uh, 12 and you have 360 by 360. Sorry, you 30 by 360. So 12 to 30 with 60 and 360 by cancel out, you will get the value 2 pi, right? The length of an arc is your 2 pi. So 24 plus 2 pi will be your perimeter, right? 24 plus 2 pi, just put out the value of your, right? 24 plus 2 pi is your uh, perimeter. Just put the value of pi, 3.14, you will get the value of perimeter of circle is 30.28 centimeter. I think the point is clear to you all. What is the length of an hour? What is the area of a sector? What is the uh, perimeter of a sector, right? Okay, so two portions are there for you to practice, right? Just try to solve them. Try to solve these questions. Now, let us, uh, I am just writing uh, formulas for you, right? Let me try to solve a uh, second question. Just try to solve them. Then afterwards, you can uh, see my solution, like how I'm doing, right? Uh, we are doing now question number second. Find the area of a sector of a circle with radius 6 cm if the angle of sector is 60 degrees. The question is asking like a set, uh, circle is given, radius is also given, radius is also given which is 6, right? And angle is also given which is 60 degree. You know, you need to find out the area of a sector. Your area of sector your area of sector is equal to pi r square multiplied theta by 360 degree and theta is your your uh, angle right angle in in your uh, degree i think the point is clear it means pi multiplied r radius is your 6 then 6 square will be your 36 then theta, theta is your 60 degree divided by 360 degree. If you just calculate this, then 36, 36 will calculate, 0, 0 will, will cancel out, you will get the value of 6 pi centimeter square will be your area of your sector, right? So 6 pi centimeter square, you will get the value of area of your sector for your question number 2. I think the point is clear and the concept is clear very much to you, right? Now we'll try to solve uh, your first question also, right? So the first question says, 
if the radius of a circle is 5 cm suppose in a circle if a radius of a circle is 5 cm and the measure of the arc is uh, 110 right your angle is given 110 degree so angle just try what is the length of an arc a and b he is uh, the question is telling you to find out the length of an ab you know the length of an arc ab you need to find out the length of an arc right length of a arc so ab will be basically equal to your 2 pi r multiplied theta upon 360 in degree all theta is in degree right so your 2 pi what is your r r is your 5 what is your theta theta is your 110 divided by 360 okay so 0 0 will cancel out we will uh, get the value of 5 into uh, 2 10 10 pi into 11 upon 36 right so it is basically 110 pi by 36 if we want uh, to solve this further just uh, put the value of 22 by 7 or just multiply by 3.14 you will find out right easily so first uh, will be your 9.6 answer and second answer will be your uh, 132.7 right i have just solved just try to calculate more by uh, putting the uh, formula of uh, putting the value of pi right so our main um, concept like uh, if i have to summarize all things like i have uh, what we have studied till now is your main point is your length of an arc suppose your a and b if your angle is your uh, theta right if your center is your zero then a b length of an arc will be equal to 2 pi r into theta upon 360 we are taking theta in degree right length of an arc layer 2 pi r theta upon 360 uh, what will be the area of sector area of sector will be equal to pi r square theta divided by 360 right these are all basic basic points like uh, which we have will read in our circle chapter right i think the concept is clear and the points are clear we have done uh, some questions uh, basic questions for it right so i will suggest you to do your initiative first and go for your reference book and try solving uh, your question right and try to do more on your practice so thank you guys. This is all about uh, session right. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.